Hello Scorpio and welcome to your reading. So, I've meditated on your uh, energy and laid down the first layer of cards like usual. The first card that I got. Two of Wands. So, that's the threshold. That's arriving at a point where we make a decision of either staying in our comfort zone, in the way that we've always done things, uh, and, uh, you know, Lord of uh, His domain, or uh, going outside of our comfort zone, into a new opportunity, into, uh, into the world, moving that threshold. After that, I got the moon. So, we're talking about what uh, is under the moon, your emotions, the unconscious, all of that. And I got the chariot. That's a spiritual car card, spiritual path in a way, number seven, in aligning our unconscious and our conscious together. So there's that decision to going in, seeing what is there, so we can align and go successfully towards something. This is what uh, Spirit wants to talk about for you for the month of September. How it's going to show up in your month. First card I have the hangman. So the hangman, of course, it's that situation. Maybe you're going to be in that threshold uh, for a little while because you need to get that enlightenment. You need to bring your higher intelligence into the situation to see it clearly, to get that understanding. Here under the moon, we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is under the moon there. So it's going to ask you to, since we have the realignment after, it's going to have to ask you to make an inner decision, to uh, see two parts of looking at things. You can either follow the wolf or you can follow the dog um, here in the moon. You see? So there you are making that decision. And under the chariot, the sun. Things are getting clear from the moon to the sun. And the sun is behind that moon. That means that by doing that decision, that making that inner decision, you are going to cross that path to the other side of those pillars behind the moon and see the sun because you will align. Here in the outcome, I have Ace of Sword and the King of Cups. So, uh, that is you, Scorpio, within yourself. And understanding and seeing clearly, see, it was asking of you to bring your higher intelligence into that situation. And you're doing it. You have the sort of truth that is arriving, that understanding that is arriving. Here I have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, feeling emotionally completed and having elevated our emotions, which makes us emotionally solid within ourselves. And after that, these three cards came. I have the Eight of Pentacles, working your craft, what you do, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So all of this, I think, is going to make you end the cycle here, of maybe past disappointments and things like that. Take your power of your will and uh, going towards something that you're very good at, uh, your craft. This is very self-entrepreneurial, you know. This is very, I'm starting my own business uh, and um, now I have surpassed this. That means I'm not sabotaging myself, I'm not, uh, I'm past my disappointments, I understand where they came from and all of that. I am mastering on my willpower and uh, working on my craft. So let's see, let's clarify. I call upon the divine, I call upon the light. Huh? Yeah, maybe this is a T2 of swords, eight of uh, 
swords, five of swords. Mm, so, yeah, maybe uh, this is why you're at the ten of swords here. You're going to decide to let that pass. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon spirit. Help me clarify this reading. The Scorpios. For the month of September. Scorpio. Two of Wands. Bottom of the... It's true. Bottom of the deck I had uh, the Ace of a Pentacle. So this can be all provoked by this a new opportunity, new something that comes from the universe there. Two of Wands. Two of Wands. Show me the Two of Wands for Scorpio Spirit. Show me the Two of Wands. Scorpios. Two of Wands for Scorpios. Tower. Okay. So something re it maybe you were put into that threshold of deciding what to do because something crumbled because something that was built uh, crumbled and did not work anymore and that is what is bringing you to the moon here so what is in the moon uh, making you having to go see what was hidden Mm. I have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So, going to see all the emotional baggage from the past. Either that you left behind or that you are going to leave behind. It might be bringing up old stuff from the past, from your childhood, that crumbling. Because this is, uh, when the tower comes, it's an enlightenment from the divine destroying something that was built on something false to begin with. So now you're like, but well, what am I going to do now? And then maybe old fears, old things from the past will come up. The chariot... Show me the chariot. But uh, you will not be in illusions. We're going from six to uh, eight. There's no seven of cups there. So you know uh, what this is all going to bring up for you. Chariot. Chariot for Scorpio. What is that chariot? It can be, you know, that threshold, that choice. Am I going to rebuild the same way I've always built and that crumbles every time? Uh, that the divine crumbles every time? Or am I going to go within and look at the emotions from the past that makes me create that way and then decide to leave them? Yes, because that's your devil. Chariot. Here. You know, grieving. Uh, five, six, seven. The sadnesses from the past. This is grieving. This is looking at what didn't work in the past. And uh, 
maybe keeping that baggage within you made that every time you were trying to build something uh, it would it was built from uh, disappointments from the past uh, sorrow from the past emotions from the past um, so because when we build the tower we need to build it with the four elements sword pentacle wand cup if one of those elements is reversed therefore like if uh, we build from a, a sword reversed we build from a lie at one point the illusions drop in and everything crumbles if we build from a cup that is reversed or that is not big enough if we don't have enough self-esteem if we don't have enough uh, or, or our, our emotions are being um, troubled from experience from the past uh, we lack, then we're going to try and build something to fill up the cup that is empty, the cups that are empty, and not build from a filled place. So, of course, the universe is going to crumble it again. So, this is showing you how your pattern or how the devil was keeping you in an illusion of these emotions from the past. And it's all in your unconscious. And now you're going to be at the threshold of choosing to do it again the same way or to do it in another way. Okay. And that's why you need to bring your higher intelligence into that situation. Hangman. Show me the hangman for Scorpios. I have the Ace of Wands and I have the Page of Pentacles. So, what you need to bring your higher intelligence in is into, is into that new wand. The old one of before or that new one which is coming towards you in a grounded manner. You're being communicated a wand are you going to build it like you built it before? That crumbled. This is where you, there's going to be a pause and this is where you need to bring your higher intelligence in. Two of Swords, it's going to be an inner decision of which in your paradox of two realities, two truths, the truth of uh, what I lived in the past, uh, that brought me sorrow and pain that I feed from? Or do I leave it behind me and not make it part of who I am, of my identity anymore? There's a decision that needs to be taken in the moon, in the sense of in your unconscious and everything that is hidden. Show me that Two of Swords for Scorpio. King of Pentacle. That new opportunity could be uh, has to do maybe with your divine masculine, with the solidity because this the King of Pentacle is the committed, long term, abundant king. So when he builds something, usually doesn't crumble. This is the decision you have to take. Under the moon, I have the moon again. Oh, there's a lot of reflection, doesn't it? There it is. I have the moon again. Show me the other option. And because two swords, that means two ways of seeing things. In a solid, let's say we're talking about relationships here. Are you going to build again from a crooked uh, emotional base? of what you lived in the past that, that brought you sorrow and pain or from a solid committed place are you going to attract with this new 
passion that is coming towards you and the page of pentacles something solid you need to really bring yes we're talking about a relationship oh yeah my god two of cups ace of cups queen of pentacles i know you're a water sign but now i have the king and queen of pentacles so this is like a soulmate that comes in and it is going to be a challenge for you to not repeat what was happening in the past there. To free yourself from the devil because you will have gone inside and see what was distorted in the way you build it. So that it doesn't crumble again. Understanding the lesson. Aligning yourself. Bringing your higher intelligence into this. And making that inner choice about a soulmate that is bringing a brand new cup of love but your cup your cup has to be filled because here we're talking about a lot of emotions okay commitment do you believe in commitment or do you believe in being abandoned and and people uh, bringing you sorrow and grief what is your belief what do you think is your worth here under the moon inside of you what do you bring to the table do you bring an empty cup and somebody else has a full cup this is all what you have to uh, bring your higher intelligence into and see clearly inside of you so that you can only keep one reality the sun. Show me the sun for Scorpio. If we're talking about work, if it's not a relationship, oh, see, Ten of Cups. Bringing the sun on shared emotions. But we attain the Ten of Cups when we're at the Nine of Cups, when we are ourselves full, emotionally fulfilled and strong. That's when we can share it and attain our Ten of Cups. This is under you aligning, moving forward from your Devil energy that was keeping you in a state that kept maybe having things that crumble. Now you're at the threshold. Do I repeat the same thing or do I move on? Uh, if we're not talking about a relationship, this can be the same thing about projects that you want to start, that you put your heart into and never come to fruition. There's always something crumbling. It's the same principle. Are you going from a filled heart? Are you following your intuition? Or are you believing lies from the past? You have to leave that behind. <clears throat> Show me that understanding that Scorpios are getting Knight of Cups. You see clearly now Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is that movement that we understand that uh, is bringing a full cup. Uh, we understand that the exchange of cup is very important here. That's his goal in life. It's to bring his cup and to give it to somebody worthy. So here, we're getting clarity about this movement, about what do I bring uh, out there. He is not who loves me. He is, I am love and I am bringing love. It's gaining that clarity on that and being solid emotionally in who you are, what you have to offer and how you're bringing it, understanding it. nine of cups and you see you have the nine of cups here because you're going inside and you're seeing what's happening from the past leaving your old story behind gaining that ace of cup that you can share it with a true soulmate from a space of nine of cups emotionally be being emotionally solid and fulfilled by yourself first here I have the Two of Pentacles. So that tells me that at this point here, you're still juggling. You're still juggling 
your past reality with the new reality. This is very important that you break it uh, so that you don't repeat the same cycle again with emotions going up and down and up and down. Truly go inside. Gain the balance. The, the, this is Jupiter and Capricorn. Understand the karma. And Jupiter is pouring energy into this so that you can feel it and see it. Okay, so let's break this down. Show me the Ten of Swords. Uh, Jupiter is probably going to enhance whatever you've been uh, looping karmically, the same thing. Enhance it to a point where you're going to break it and keep only one reality so that you can truly live a real emotion, uh, emotional union with somebody uh, here see all those cups uh, that that's between the six of cups and the seven of cups uh, and the eight of cups it's the seven of cups all those mental projection probably hurting yourself in your head hurting yourself and seeing all the ways that you can be betrayed and that you can be hurt and now seeing how that mental activity is actually uh, has been hurting you so much and understanding that that is not your reality the mundra of the ten of uh, swords what I see is not the reality is not all that there is compared to this one all you see is all there is you understand now how the mental projections of everything you lived in the past, projecting it in the future, and what is and what can be, was brought you to the Ten of Swords here. That's why you're, it's the end of that cycle, because you gain clarity here on what is truly in the cup. Here, King of Wands, what is that? Justice. End of that karma. Maybe you were dealing, and I have the King of Swords here. Uh, so that's the masculine side here. And to what I want and I desire and I go for, now it's going to be balanced. I will not go for another lesson. That is going forward another lesson. You know, do I go get another karmic partner and live it again and live it again until I understand that dynamic that is always being crumbled by the universe, always bringing me grief because I believe the crap that maybe people told me when I was young that I wasn't deserving, that I wasn't enough or whatever that is stuck in my moon like a belief now I'm gonna go in, bring my higher intelligence and see my value and see that I can share with somebody in a healthy elevating way in a solid committed way it's the end of that karma if you want it free will eight of pentacle all right and i have the fool here eight of pentacle nine of pentacle so all the work you did on yourself that is working and seeing result and seeing results that arrive to a Nine of Pentacles, where we know our value, we are strong in what we value and our value. Uh, we understand the signs from the heavens because it sure has a falcon in there. So you arrive at two nines. See? Nine of Cup and Nine of Pentacles. That's why here. The sun can bring you a ten of cups. And uh, being at the nine of pentacles, that means you can build the ten of pentacles. And we can only get there once we are emotionally fulfilled earth ourselves. The emotions we lived in the past are elevated, therefore purified because they've been understood. And here we see everything that we have built in our life and our value. Nine that's why we can stand strong. So this is beautiful. 
So the work you've been doing, probably been working a lot on yourself, spiritually, you have the chariot there, working that path, Going within, seeing the truth there, bringing your higher intelligence, exhorting, uh, purifying, purging, and understanding, and all and all and all, so you can arrive at that point. So that is beautiful. It's bringing the end of a karma and opening up the door for you for a soulmate coming in. Once It's like once you take that inner decision, that soulmate can come in. It cannot come in as long as you're in the old vibration that the universe keeps crumbling down. Why? Why again? Ask yourself why? Why again? If this resonates with you, of course. But that is the message that Spirit wanted to talk to you about. If this rings a bell, it can be about work about projects or creations that you want to put out there or relationships but we're talking about the emotions emotions from the past that influence your unconsciousness and that now you need to go within and see it clearly end of a cycle ten of cups is there for you because you understand it brand new beginning for you if you want it and 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 not repeat the same loop until until you let go of one and you center yourself like Shiva some parts have to be destroyed to be able to create a new part and see under the ace of uh, pentacle I had the world so there's a new project because you're finishing uh, you're finishing an old karma so Scorpio this is your reading for September uh, I want to thank all of you that donated and like I was saying to the other signs I've decided uh, that the ones of you that give a donation instead of uh, doing doing my uh, meditation for you a bit uh, anytime I'm gonna do it on the 15th of the month and the 30th of the month I'm gonna do a special ceremony meditation to ask the universe to give you back in what you need for what you have given me and so by knowing the date in advance uh, you can open yourself to receive and notice the, the magic of life and that's going to be my way to give back to you for private readings the description is below and I want to thank you all and send you my love and light for the month of September and I'll see you next month all right Bye-bye.